We actually have a question from uh, Nader Abdel Qadir, who says, how can foreign policy serve collaboration between the MENA region and other countries in the field of research and technological development? And that brings me to um, the Deauville Partnership and other efforts that have been made in order to bolster some of the countries of the region, not necessarily just with finance, but rather with projects that would, um, that would help take us to a better place. So perhaps, Mr. Maud, you could um, speak about that particular issue, and especially with the Deauville Partnership. Well, the Deauville Partnership is, is very important. It's a, a lot of investment has gone into it. It needs to be built on uh, and built on rapidly. Um, and you know, there is no doubt that uh, if uh, across the Middle East and North Africa region uh, we see uh, conditions arising where, which are encouraging for investment, that will support all the other things we're talking about here. It supports conflict resolution. Uh, more prosperous people uh, want to resolve conflict more. They've got more skin in the game. More, it's, it, there's, the, the stakes become higher. Um, and so it's very important that we do that. But there's something else as well, uh, which is that engagement, uh, detailed, substantive engagement on issues like technology transfer, uh, like uh, uh, collaboration on all, of these, uh, on all of these areas, actually gets dialogue onto things where it's easier to reach, um, it's easier to reach agreement. So I've uh, always been a huge... Um, uh, supporter of the idea that trade uh, is the best antidote uh, to conflict. By and large, peoples that trade together don't fight each other, uh, and because you have more and more vested interest in each other's prosperity and each other's uh, stability. So that's why in the context of the G8, uh, we have said that trade is one of the three big themes, uh, and to the extent that that can be promoted then it does contribute, not immediately, not overnight. Um, and it doesn't stop there being all the issues that have been talked about, particularly in the uh, Palestine-Israeli conflict, where there need to be substantive concessions on both sides. And for neither side are those easy concessions, but they're really important. But actually um, building the collaboration, building the engagement on things which are not to do with that conflict can be a really important uh, uh, precursor to success. 